Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on prime factors. So in this video we'll be looking at finding the highest common factor and lowest common multiple using Venn diagrams. So for instance, if we've got two numbers of 60 and 27, and we want to find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple, then we first have to find the unique prime factorization of each number. So we'll start with 60, so we can divide this into 2 and 30. Now 2 is prime, so we'll circle it. And then 30 divides into 2 and 15. Again, we'll circle the 2 and 15 divides into 3 and 5. So this is the prime factorization of 60. We've got 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And then if we go to 27, uh, 27 divides into 3 times 9. So 3 is prime. And 9 divides into 3 and 3. So we circle all the 3s. So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. Now what we do is we draw a Venn diagram, uh, which looks like this. So uh, in the circle on the left, we'll put all the factors of 60. And in the circle on the right, we'll put the prime factors of 27. So we'll start with 60 and we'll go through this list of prime factors and we'll write these numbers in their respective areas of the Venn diagram. So uh, if any of the numbers are shared between 60 and 27, they'll go in the intersection. So the two uh, just goes in the 60 because there's no twos in the prime factorization of 27. So we'll cross off the two and the second two we'll do the same thing for. Uh, now if we look at the three, there's a three in the prime factorization of 27. So the three can go in the intersection and we'll cross the three off both lists. And then the five, there's no uh, fives in the factorization of 27. So uh, we'll put the five in here and we'll cross it off. Now we'll move on to the 27. Uh, and as we've already seen, uh, we've got a three in the intersection, so that's already crossed off. And then the other two threes we'll put in the circle for 27. So we'll cross these off. Uh, so if we want to find the highest common factor, uh, what we do is we multiply all the numbers in the intersection together. So in this case, it's just three. Uh, so the highest common factor is three. And then if we want to find the lowest common multiple, we multiply all of the numbers in the Venn diagram together. Uh, so that's two times two times three times three times three times five. Uh, so uh, we can work this out in our heads if we want or on pen and paper. Two times two is uh, four times uh, three times three times three, 27 times five. Uh, so we've got four times five is 20 times 27. So that gives us 540. So the lowest common multiple is 540. So that is how you find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple using Venn diagrams. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are really good preparation for your exams. Uh, and you get instant feedback on everything. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.